<laughs> and so now we're going to go to our rendition where you get an opportunity to meet the McCains. Oh, mm. man, are we meeting the McCains already? Yeah, yeah we meet the McCains around, already. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we try to switch it around a little bit and kind of throw a little spice in the air and something like that. So our, uh, our esteemed host, Tracy Brown Howard, is going to share with you right now about meeting the McCains. Tracy? All right, now, let me see. How are we going to meet the McCain? Oh, there I am. How are we going to <laughs> How are we going to meet the McCains today? Let's see. Carving out time our uh, COT. You supposed to say a COT. I said our COT carving out. How do you know what she supposed to say? For one another First. to stay connected. So in one's marriage you can get lost in careers, raising your family, your babies, Oh, I hope they were in your family. Friends and everyday <laughs> activities because That's life right, even <laughs> because okay. life happens and it happens fast. So McCain's <laughs> That's hobbies, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so important to spend quality time with one another? You go first, babe. No, I don't ever go first. Ladies are always first. Okay. <laughs> okay, why is it important? Obviously, she Sam? doesn't spend time with me because she can't answer this uh, question. No, I but can. I want to I hear. Mm, it, it's important because you could catch up on whatever's going on through each other's day, and you could just be reacquainted and find out certain things that, you know, bothers your spouse or if they're happy about. You're connecting with them. And you also could feel happy about the fact that you got someone to share those with. Like if I was having a bad day at work, I could call my girlfriend, but I want to call talk to my man about that. I want to connect with him, and I want our relationship. You know, you might could give me some advice yeah. on what I need to do instead of me taking it on my own hands because you know Betty Shabazz come out a lot. Yeah. And I need for him to idle me down. You know, I'll just say, you know, uh, spending quality time uh, strengthens the bond of your relationship. Uh, throughout the life, everything, you know, sometimes withers away or – It'll, it'll die out a little. But when you're spending quality time, you're strengthening that relationship. You're helping it grow. You're, you're like the cement to that relationship when you're spending so much quality time with each other. You're able to, you know, to enjoy being with each other. Quality time is important because it gives you the opportunity to, to learn even more about each other, enjoy each other more. And I know sometimes people get you know, confused and say, I don't want to spend that much time with each other. You don't. It's, you should never have a situation in your relationship where you say, "I don't want to spend that much time," because you've just removed the word quality. Because it means quality it means spending enough time with each other that you can enjoy each other so much that when you're apart, the only thing you're thinking about is being together. Well, look at you. Oh. <laughs> That's why he wanted to go last. Oh. <laughs> but I'll go first the next time. All right, go. good, because I was going to make you do that anyway. Okay. Mm-hmm. So how do the McCains find free time for one another? You know, uh, with the busy schedule we have with, you know, the radio show and doing a lot of things and trying to get so many uh, things together in our, our lives, it's very difficult, and it's very difficult for a lot of people. But what we, we, we always try to do is make sure that, there is a moment in a day or uh, a moment in the week where we stop everything we're doing. Sometimes it can be kind of difficult, but you've got to be persistent in that where you make sure that that time spent with that individual is more important than anything else on that day. You make sure that you go to work. You should make sure you work on your relationship. Okay, then. And he he did it on the daily thing, and I'm thinking about how we – spend time we make plans to do that just like you make plans to do other things we make plans to spend quality time with one another as well as um certain things like rick said not being funny we do have busy schedules so we check our schedule and we see what's coming up okay this is a free weekend let's be all about the mccain's not everybody else, but let us do some stuff, you know, with ourselves and everything and just enjoy one another. It don't always have to be going out, but that quality time of, okay, let's carve out an hour to just me time, us time. And that usually help us, Tracy. Yeah. Okay. Now, I've got one last question for you. What do you do when you spend time together? Hmm, that's a lot. Besides the obvious of marriage couple things that they do. Ooh. <laughs> That's nasty. That's we the only thing I want to do. 
I'm sometimes jealous. I want to come up for air and go 20, out. Twenty two so. years later, I, all I want to do is have have. I married y'all. I don't know about the rest now, of y'all. Anyway, we, we do so a lot of, we do our here. date, <laughs> right, come up here. we do our date nights, yeah, mm-hmm. and we, or oh, date days, we like to go to plays, movies, see different events, take walk together, comedy shows, you know, whatever somebody invites us, or even like, for the holidays, someone inviting us to a cookout, we come there, you know, to the cookout for Memorial Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And we watch TV, one of my best favorite things of all the other stuff we do, I look forward to Friday night. For the week to be gone, and Friday is not always going out. But we sit there and enjoy watching Dateline. It just cracks me up. Yeah. It's soothing <laughs> just to sit right, there yeah. and watch Dateline together. And, and watch, we like to watch Law and Order too. But what I will say, you know, it says, uh, uh, you said, what is what? I can't, what you said, what is it? What do you do when you spend time together? You know, one of the things that I do like that we get a chance to do is we get a chance to laugh. Mm-hmm. We get a chance to just enjoy each other or act a little silly or. You know, just do some crazy things that, you know, a lot of times you don't do out in public that you do, you know, at home. You just act a little silly or do something. We just get a chance to unwind and relax and and rekindle our love for each other in in other ways other than just making love. Just spending time with each other, holding each other, you know, uh, laughing about things. So it's always refreshing just to, you know, pick something that's going to be you know, that, that one person wants to do, and do it together. It might just be watching a TV program that you don't want to watch. Do with that person so they can reciprocate and do the same with you. And so it's always an awesome thing to, to make sure that you spend time with each other. And when you do, make sure it's something that you'll both enjoy. If it's just one person enjoys it more than the other, do it because you know that that individual enjoys it as well. Amen. All right, so one last final question. Uh-oh. We got, uh-uh. We got one question again. Hey, one oh. final question. What's that? So, do you have a problem when you're spending time together and Tracy's there? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, uh, well, I mean, we, I, don't, I don't know how to answer that question because I'm trying to, if we're spending time with each other and Tracy there, something's wrong. It's, you know. We didn't say spending that type of time Yeah, I'm like, together. what? Right, okay. I've been along on date nights. No, I'm just, you know, well, that's, you know, well, that's not spending time with each other. That's spending time with three people. Right. I, I just wanted to throw you off. Right. <laughs> well, I we, love it when my girl hang out with us. So, well, we we've got to move on because we got a couple of more minutes and we got to go to inspirational corner. Tracy, you got something for us today? No, it's what? me, babe. Oh, it's you. Oh, okay. Tracy, you ain't got nothing.